Dixie. Attack Dixie. Leave it. Dixie. Hey. Leave it. Hey. Leave it. Good girl. Leave it. That dog literally tried to attack Dixie and it's on Plexi Leash. That's the one that came after her in the summer. Bruh. That's disgusting. Are you kidding me? That's freaking disgusting. I'm adding this to my YouTube video, but I'm gonna upload that because people need to control their dogs. Totally he's not over there, so she can't hear me. But if you have a freaking dog that's like that, do not put on a flexi leash. It literally peed on the guy's mailbox. That's disgusting. <laughs> And I'm afraid if they did to mine, because I do not want to go near dog pee mailbox things. Basically, what happened is why I was so upset seeing that dog back here is they they live, like, quite a while down there, okay? They live, like, really far away from us. They come down here occasionally in the summer. But I was really nervous now that my dogs were out. Dixie used to go up to that dog, bark, try to play. This lady discriminates against Dixie. She thinks Dixie is dangerous because Dixie does look dangerous <laughs> when she's running up trying to play. But Dixie did have trouble leaving it. And I'm not ashamed of that. Dixie has trouble ignoring other like dogs on her property, which I get it. It's like a it's a thing that she needs to overcome, but she was not aggressive. She just wanted to go say hi. Um well when I said leave it a couple times, she left it. But yeah, um, we were in the summer, this dog would not shut up. It kept on barking at my dog on a flex leash, like got in my dad's yard, just would not leave my dog alone when she was ignoring it, doing her. I was training in the yard as a service dog. It clearly said service dog. The lady would not stop the dog. She could just let it do it. And I was like, can you not? So I'm glad I caught them on camera again. And I'm glad I caught it peeing on the freaking guy's post. I said mailbox, but I think... Yeah, it's supposed. I'm right here and I'm looking over there. But yeah, it's supposed like that's disgusting. Don't don't let your dog pee on other people's things. That's disgusting. <sighs> the people just make me so mad. I'm uploading this to spread awareness on this because I'm so sick of people letting their dogs do whatever they freaking want because it's disgusting. Would you let your freaking Rottweiler attack someone or your dog attack someone because you think it's cute? Yeah, you wouldn't. You just don't. So why would you let it pee on a mailbox? I don't like those type of dogs because they're very vocal. They don't listen. This one doesn't. I've seen some good Wessies, but that one just isn't, isn't good. But I just hope she sees this video and knows next time she can control her dang dog because that is super unacceptable. Oh, people. She come. Come here. She's not going to want to listen. Come here. She's sniffing around for that dog because it used to come over here on our property. She always let her dog poop on our corner of her property and never picked it up. So that also sucks. But yeah, Dixie, Dixie did really good. She was not growling, barking. She just looked at it with her tail up wanting to play. And I had to say leave it a couple times because she's in a very playful mood. So yeah, but hopefully that lady understands next time that that's not okay and she should not be doing that. Um, so yeah, we're hope- I live in the country, okay? This is like the country country. Um, and me and my dad were planning on going for walks, so we gotta watch where we're walking because there's a really reactive beagle, and let me switch it to my face. So there's a really reactive beagle down the road, and, um, they never have it on a leash, and I get it, it's your yard, but their yard is not fenced in, and when we pass down there on our HUV right here, it- comes out of its yard in the road and starts barking at our dogs and us and it almost got hit by our HUV because we were like going like high speed like we're allowed to we're not speeding but we were going and the dog literally came out in the middle of the road and started barking at us so I'm really gonna have to be careful with that and then um the only other dog that's really in this neighborhood is a lab because it is country so there's not a lot of people not a lot of dogs but there is a lab some na our new neighbors just moved in and I don't think they have a dog. Um, our neighbors before our last neighbor, so the second last neighbor, I don't know, had a German Shepherd before I had Dixie. 
So that was a really long time ago. When I was a little kid, we went over there. Jimmer Shepherd was really friendly. And I hope if these people who moved in have a dog, it's super friendly because they have their German Shepherd. And the German Shepherd came in our yard once and all it did was play with our dogs and was really friendly. So I hope if anyone else moves in here and they have a dog, I hope their dogs are friendly because I'm not looking up to an aggressive dog coming in our yard because that is not fenced in. Someone's getting their mail. Um, also, this other guy over here, he's like our other like really close neighbor he has a bunch of barking yappy dogs and i've seen them go on the road a couple times but he, he's not that big of a deal he takes control of his dogs pretty good so people around us my grandpa my uncle have their dogs off leash and they're really good dogs um my uncle's dogs my grandpa's dogs sorry my breath harass each other they like go on each other's porches and bark they're, they do not get along but my uncle's dogs small dogs get along with dixie his big blue healer is dog aggressive, so I really can't take Dixie over there unless he has a muzzle on. And he'll try to dominate bite Dixie with his muzzle on, then after a while he'll just give, give up and they'll play for a little bit, but yeah. Um, but my grandpa's Doberman and Dalmatian that you guys sometimes see, um, they're very friendly. We go over there very often, and um, Dixie was raised around the Doberman, so... They get along perfectly. They're like girlfriend and boyfriend. Um, and the Dalmatian is just really hyper. And he loves to play and play and play. Because Dalmatians were made to run. So yeah. <laughs> this is kind of a longer YouTube video. But I'm just kind of explaining. Like I hope I don't run into other dogs. There's, there's like... I don't know if any of them died. I think the boxer might have died. Because I have not hear, hearing it barking in like two years. But they have, like, pugs over there, and they're very, very, very aggressive. Like, this neighbor right across the street, like, hold on, it's that house right there. Like, our yard, and then th sometimes their dogs get out. Not occasionally, but sometimes. Like, just kind of getting over there, but that's not too big of a deal because they don't come over here. Ripco, when she was a puppy, she used to run along their fence and harass their dogs. Ripco doesn't do it anymore because, um, you know, she's not a puppy anymore but yeah our dogs don't go after other dogs i really think people should start controlling their dogs because that's super unacceptable to have your dog run in the middle of the road like the freaking beagle trying to bite my dog and having your dogs barking and barking and barking and not letting them shut up so i think that's really important <laughs> um i'm gonna go instagram live about this and just kind of sit because i'm out of breath yeah, I'll go do that. But this is going on my YouTube to show you guys that was very unacceptable. Dogs should not be peeing on your freaking mailbox. I mean, posts. That's disgusting. Would you want a freaking random dog peeing on your belongings? Yeah, I didn't think so. And because this guy is over here, I, his dogs, I don't know if they're aggressive. They bark a lot and growl a lot. But I think I was just like play. But if that dog comes back and it has the scent... And when they smell that post, that dog will be attacked because those dogs are very territorial. They don't even like Dixie like being in our driveway and they're like, yeah, that was my grandpa's yard. They're like way over there. So hopefully when the Westie goes by, hopefully those dogs are not out because that would just be a mess, a bloody, bloody mess. I'm assuming they would do that because they're very territorial. But again, I don't know the dogs, so... We went over there with Dixie once and they were barking at her. Um, my dad and him, I think, used to be friends. I don't think they are anymore. Um, politics. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's it for this video before it gets too long and weird. I just wanted to show that because that's very unacceptable. And do not let your dog out of control like that. I do not even let Dixie step in people's yards on a walk. I find it very disrespectful when my dog's going in other people's hard worked lawns. That's very disrespectful. So like that dog just going in his in his whole entire yard and our neighbor's whole entire yard and our yard, that is very disrespectful. We worked so hard on that yard and the dog literally just pees and digs on our yard. That's so disrespectful. Oh my gosh. Story time and then I'll end it, but it's a short one. My, me and my mom uh, we're watching the security cameras um, a couple days later. This girl had her Shizu. My mom lives in the city, so there's a lot of aggressive and just out of control dogs. Well, this Shizu was on a flexi leash, and the lady, the dog had to go poop. It was sniffing, it was farting, doing all that. 
I had to go poop. She she brought her flex leash, went into my mom's yard, and the dog dug up my mom's flowers and pooped where it dug. So now we have poop in our flower beds from last summer. Um, and the lady literally did not pick it up. She just laughed and looked at it. We can hear people on there too. She was like, ha, 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 like laughing when he was pooping in there. And we were like, are you serious? If your dog comes back again, we'll sick our pit bull on him. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not gonna hurt a dog. But that's very unacceptable. Don't let your dogs do that. That's disgusting. How would you like it if Dixie or my big freaking pit bull who has elephant turds came in your yard, dug a hole in the middle of your yard, and took a big dookie? That would not be very pleasant. Oh, I hate people. But yeah. Um, Dixie is licking all the water off the seat because she's a cleaner. So yeah. That's all I had to say. So yeah. Bye. That's all I had to say because don't let your dogs do that. It's very unacceptable. Say so, yeah, bye.